Uh, we have a good problem uh, to have in the budget office, and that is that uh, the consensus revenue forecast uh, put together by OSBM, the Governor's Budget Office, and uh, Fiscal Research Division from the General Assembly uh, is projecting a $237 million revenue surplus, uh, which is good news. Let's um, give that a round of applause. And that was driven by um, increased uh, revenue collections and personal income tax in a climate where we have uh, consistently reduced personal income tax rates for all North Carolinians. So I think that also is good news. Um, so what do you do with that revenue surplus? Well, a lot of that is one-time money, and a lot of the needs that we have in the state are uh, recurring needs that require uh, recurring revenue. Um, so we have a little bit of an unbalance there. Um, but despite the, the, the constraints that we have, um, we're investing heavily in education. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. My mother is a retired school teacher. My sister is a current school teacher. Um, education is very important to me and is, is reflected in the governor's budget. Um, so I just try to jot down a few uh, statistics in that regard. So since the governor came to office, if you, if you look back to 2012, which is what we got today, um, or, or through 2015, uh, average per, pu per pupil spending was $5,361. Uh, today, it's $5,638. Um, since 2013, we've increased the education budget by 9.6%. Uh, that's a 12.17% increase in uh, K-12, 5.9% increase in community college, 3.9% increase in the UNC budget, and um, when you look at textbooks for our school children, it's, it's almost tripled uh, from 23 million to 61 million. So I think there are some very um, good, good positive pieces of information we can build on. And Governor, you already, you've already mentioned the historic pay increases, so I won't, I won't uh, talk about that again. Um, other uh, non-education budget items that we're going to look to um, are heavy investments in DHHS. We have Secretary Grazer here uh, who can provide more detail. If, if if that's needed, but um, significant investments in the governor's mental health task force to address um, Alzheimer's and, and mental health issues and substance use issues. Um, and then you're going to see a lot of uh, responsible fiscal management. Um, it is, you know, we are part of a growing economy and a growing state. We have 281 people a day on average moving to North Carolina, and that's because. We're a diverse and inclusive society here that um, has a great tax environment that is pro-business, and people are recognizing that. Uh, this governor, you know, government doesn't create jobs, but since Governor McCord has been in office, and you know, since 2013, we've created, uh, or 275,000 jobs have been created. Uh, that's a job for every man, woman, and child in um, Winston-Salem and New Bern combined. Uh, that, that is, that, that is great news for our economy, and, and you're seeing it translated into uh, revenue surpluses for our budget. So.